So you've got all swords energy um, pretty much here. And this, this is a conquering. You know, what I do love is we're showing the Ace of Swords. So this is all a beginning. You know, there's something ending, but something also is beginning. And this is a triumph of some sort. So this is a breakthrough and it's a mental breakthrough. It's a breakthrough on many levels. You've got the Four of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, right? And then the Queen of Swords. And then you have the Seven of Pentacles. And I feel like the Seven of Pentacles is the grounding energy here, meaning you've patiently, this has been going for some time. Queen of Swords is you've smartened up. And I feel like the clarity of this breakthrough is you, you've been in this Queen of Swords and it's just kind of had you in this air quality energy. And I think I've been feeling some air quality energy for you, Pisces, only because you've been needing to ground. Seven of Swords, there's betrayal or some, there are tactics or strategies around you, whether it's in a relationship, but you're smartening up, whether it's in business in your um, work environment. And I do feel strongly work environment because um, your readings have been a span of many things. And I think what's happening is whatever's happening spills over. So if it's in your relationship, it's spilling over your career and your family. If it's in your career, it's spilling over your relationship, you know, in all the areas is what I'm trying to say. But because this is in mind, a mental swords energy, there's a lot you've waited for of swords and it created a lot of this this is the pent up buildup that's that it created during this space you needed a lot of solitude and i i've really been feeling that for you for some time um but this knight of swords it the, all that pent up energy was to put you in action with the knight of swords to really see the seven of swords and to embody this queen of swords um but it was a challenge to ground yourself with the Seven of Pentacles. But the breakthrough is here with the Ace of Swords. My goodness. Ah, this reading. I want to point out that the bottom of the deck was the Lovers and the Devil and the Wheel of Fortune. And that's a lot of major. Again, you're breaking through something that's been very, it's been, a, you've been bound to. And, you know, this is to me an ascension. It, again, any of these partnership lovers can represent any partnership, business, work. Like you're moving to a new wheel of fortune is here. This is good. Like this is a karmic cycle coming to an end. And um, let's get into your read. Yeah, eight of cups pops out. You're you're moving forward and you're emotionally already. I think this pent up energy during the Four of Swords has really allowed you to think things through. Now, if you're not in this energy yet, um, we're going to keep these. If you're not in this energy yet, don't worry about it. I, I think this is a process and this has been a process for some time. So here we have moon energy. Yeah, so much is coming. Intuition and insight. And you know, this is your energy, Pisces. You know, you 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 are receiving as I feel it's you're receiving it on the internal first inside. So your intuitive abilities are very accurate right now. That swords energy, very intuitive. You're it's it's very tapped in, I feel. So you can trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction. Follow your own insights over the advice of others and don't allow fear or worry to guide your way. It may be best to keep your secrets to yourself for now. Yes, and then Wheel of Fortune. I mean, this is pivotal. We already saw it, so it's showing up. It's showing up twice now. This Wheel of Fortune, and I really, really feel this strongly, Pisces. Your angels heard your prayers and have banded together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Events begin to move forward, and great progress will now be possible. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust the guidance you receive. Ooh. Ah, wow. My hairs are standing up right now, Pisces, because this also brings me goosebumps. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, when I tap in, I don't ever really see these reads. You know, I, I do them for you, but, um, you know, sometimes they do make me feel and things have changed so quickly for me as well. So I, I can see how a lot of you can embody this energy. So let's see your, your, 
soul transition twin soul and symptoms Woof. and you guys know um, I'm, I'm, def I'm a twin right so twin soul for those who are in the twin soul journey um, and, and have come to your senses about what this evolution really is that the twin soul ascension is a vehicle to move you through um, you have incarnated in this lifetime with your divine counterpart. This complex connection is intended to strip away outdated beliefs and bring high vibration love to the world and symptoms. Emotional, physical, or mental stimulus has caused a reaction. No, it's positive or negative impacts. And this is what I'm saying. The symptoms. So those who are in twin flame or twin soul ascension vehicle journey, your symptoms are activating and you're moving through. Those who are just receiving ascension symptoms, because this is definitely symptoms, emotional, physical, mental. It's that four of swords energy, whatever pent up and whatever's caused a reaction is to move you and just note if it's positive or negative, you're going to know what decisions, right? That's why your insight is here. And then challenge ahead. It will be challenging. Face this challenging head on and look at it as an opportunity for improvement. You, you will... Your will may be tested, but stand in your beliefs and be strong. So, you know, you guys know, you know, you know what this is. And for those who are going through it, um, this is really, really, when the universe presents something like this, it's truly for a positive outcome. Um, but it's not easy. <laughs> That's why swords energy, the sword suit is never the easiest energy to get through. But this breakthrough with the ace of swords... There's something to really like, there's, um, there's such a, it's such an empowering energy when you do get through this suit, the energies of this suit. So let's see, um, what do you have to allow Pisces for the month of March? What does Pisces need to allow? I allow myself to have personal boundaries, yes, and I really feel that's why Spirit is saying keep a secret, keep keep it like keep a low key right now. And I allow myself to be open to love. Um, some of you uh, are opening yourself up to to love or a connection. Uh, this to me feels um, how. The twin soul journey, how you express yourself on the outside. And yeah, I allow myself to receive all that is given to me. That's embodying Empress energy right there. Um, that is coming into the heart space. Our ascension is to balance the feminine and masculine energy. And receiving is knowing that. But in order to get there, you also have to create these boundaries, these personal boundaries, which shows is a sign of self-love you know overall in life so we have surrender your belief in scarcity the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance that's that empress right infinite in this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams so there's a lot of this this wheel of fortune is moving you through an abundant life and i think the symptoms that you're feeling is is the fuel that's necessary um, and this is like how the universe communicates to us. This is how they speak to us, you know, and when you start being understanding the sensitivity, when you become very sensitive to the information, then you know, you'll know, you'll know what to do. So let's get more energies for your main spread here. More energies for Pisces. I already see the heart chakra and we already know embodying the heart chakra um the healing when it appears it's it's the communication of of the soul the communication of the universe they speak to the hearts and it's guiding you through a a different direction that speaks to your heart so you've got to listen to that communication again seeking your own counsel right now again look at this four of swords 
and judgment. So what do we have here? Solar plexus. That's Empress. I always associate this three, the Trinity, mind, body, spirit. So these two, to me, has a lot to do with grounding four. The Empress, this is an elevation three to four. Um, and you're just elevating. You're ele elevating your spirit, you know, rest and rejuvenate. Four of swords here. It happens during the time of, of just needing a mental break for you however you take that right this is hard to do that we're all busy another three partnership and allowance al al um, alliances and judgments you know this is speaking towards our judgment call uh, uh, towards this and honestly i really feel judgment here is judgment day with this wheel of fortune where you're moving through an end of a cycle right right before the world 